What's up guys, it's your boy Gong. Welcome back to another mod review video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Lizard Quad Bear and the Lizard TRA 500. So looking at both of these here. So let's go ahead and start with the Lizard Quad Bear. So the quickest way to find these is to go into your menu with the, the left menu button, scroll down to mods and DLCs, and here you will find the Lizard Quad Bear. This is by Sleuth Jess Modding from the Mod Hub. It's 6.33 megabytes. Um, initial cost of 12,600 and it's four slots. As you can see right here, base is 83 horsepower. It's a CVT transmission and you know, so on and so forth. In here, you have a few options. You have original, hand protectors, support and hand protectors, support frontal, back to original. Then attachers, you have rear hitch, which gives you, as the name suggests, a rear hitch, side hitch, back to standard, wheel setup, you have standard wheel model two, back to standard, then you have three color options. And that's the basic options for this specific one. So let's go ahead now and take it for a quick ride and see what it sounds like and all that stuff so on startup rb and x starts it up that's what it sounds like there's no um horn or anything so basic basic design um that's basically it so let's go ahead now and move on to the lizard tra 500 um this one here is by agratono uh, it's 6.44 megabytes to download from the mod hub, 13,000 initial cost, and four slots when you, do, when you inst, um, purchase it the first time. So again, we're going to the menu, mods and DLCs, and you go all the way over to your Lizard TRA 500, 75 horsepower. This is actually manual, so when you, if you have manual selected in your menu, you will have to shift this manually. Here are the options you have. You have wheel brand Lizard, Nokian, Mitas, back to Lizard. You will have design one for wheel setup for Lizard. And wheel design two. So design one and two for Lizard. Same for Nokian. Same for Mitas. Then now you have um, for the design, you have handlebar one, handlebar two, handlebar three, handlebar four, back to handlebar one. Uh, design again you have bumper one bumper two bumper three bumper four back to bumper one you have design one you have design roof which gives you a cover as you can see which kind of looks funky back to standard you have attachers design one which is an attachment in the back side attachment front and side attachment back to standard you also have an engine option. You have TRE 500, 40 kilometers, 60 kilometers, 80 kilometers, 100 kilometers, 120 kilometers. What's the difference? And you have 40 kilometer two, 60 kilometer two, 80 kilometer two, 120 kilometer two, back to 40 kilometers. Then you have the color options. You have color option one, two, and three, which is main design rim. There's no license plate option for this. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, how it sounds. So you go on it by pressing X, RB and X starts it up. You get a digital dash, RB and A honks the horn. And let's go ahead and, if you know how manual works, if you're doing the R trigger, you have to press the left directional up to shift the gears up. As you can see, it's now in third, fourth, fifth, and that it only has five gears. So that's basically it as well for this specific mod. As you can see, they don't have anything too major to them. There's not, it's just basic um, ATVs. You know, you can use them for fun. If you have the attachers, you can allow them to do work. But I guess that's it for this video, guys. If you guys did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. 
If you want to stay up to date what's going on, please go ahead and subscribe. If you want to be notified every time I post a video, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions, leave them below. I get back to each other every one of you guys. Thank you guys again for watching.